I hereby present a Nigeria Humanitarian Yearbook 2021-2022, a compendium of NEHA report this day of August 20th, 2022 to the world. As part of activities to mark the World Humanitarian Day, the Nigerian Humanitarian Action, NIHA, has nominated Mr. Tang Jack Rich as eighth humanitarian personality for his outstanding efforts in humanitarian work. The chief humanitarian of NIHA announced this as an event held to commemorate the World Humanitarian Day in Abuja. According to him, Jack Rich the CEO of Belima Oil and one of the presidential aspirants of the All Progressives Congress, APC, is to serve as president during NIHA's humanitarian week scheduled to hold in November. Your milestones of humanitarian interventions in Dean Kandamswa is quite inspiring. And for onlookers that don't know you, as a matter of fact, uh, you're quite humble in person and it's really shows um, the epitome of what you've done as a person. Mr. Joy Bankale, a retired director with the News Agency of Nigeria, NAN, who is also chairman, NIIHA Editorial Council, and executive director, Nigerian Humanitarian Week, said NIHA was on a mission. Bankale explained that the yearbook was also a 12-chapter documentation of the COVID-19 global response and how the world was still responding to it. The mission and vision, as well as the goal of the, of the Nigerian humanitarian action is, like I said, encapsulated in the book. And this has been summarized by Mother Teresa. The effort of NEHA, therefore, as a group of non-governmental organizations with a love and passion for helping the less privileged in our society, we look small compared to what big corporations like uh, the Belema A Foundation and others are doing, helping the less privileged in society. Uh, but like Mother Teresa said, those little efforts count much. And if they are absent, then something is missing. Therefore, this year both documents some of these efforts, including the massive response by a sharp world in combating the coronavirus, the weak, strange, yet powerful virus that brought the world to its knees. And it contains relevant and up-to-date information and statistics on the coronavirus pandemic, which it's, with its devastating impact on the world's health, business and social interaction. Thus, it provides a never forget me kind of research for the world to refer to in case of infection in years to come. Finally, because today's uh, event is to honor a worthy humanitarian, I would say therefore, and this adequate information on non-state actors and their roles in combating this pandemic, and NEHA is at the forefront of showcasing these efforts. And with our collaboration with uh, uh, the Lema uh, Aid Foundation, I'm sure we'll have a greater mileage. In his response, Jacques said that the NIAJ has expressed the strategic need for all humans to continue to live for humanity. The reverse born politician also noted that the most important gift was to give that which was most desirous to advancing the life of a fellow man. When I got wing of the nomination, I just said to myself that this is to show that no matter what you do, in the open or secret, society sees it. And for me, I believe strongly that the most phenomenal essence of humanity is to be a humanitarian. And when you 
become a humanitarian, uh, humanity will dictate your pace and humanity will design your schedule. And that's why anytime I get wing of any event that is strategically positioned to advance the course of humanity, I get in without any form of apology. So I want to thank you once more for this novel recognition. I also want to thank all those who have been behind the scene trying their best also uh, to do one most important thing to promote the dignity of humanity, irrespective of how marginal or negligible it is.